So, napaka standardized na ng CCNA. So, yung, yung pinapakita ko sa inyo dito ngayon sa screen is yung aking very first CCNA certificate. Okay? I got this nung 2006-2005. Okay? And it is valid through June 2, 2009. Okay? And later, i-explain ko sa inyo um, ano yung 3 years uh, certification na yan. Okay? Pero ito yung pinakaunang Cisco certificate that I received. May kita nyo yung logo, lumang-luma na. <laughs> okay. um, so, yung next question na gusto kong i-share sa inyo is, bakit nga ba nag-hire ng Cisco Certified Professionals ang mga companies? Why do they prefer someone who is or who has a Cisco certification versus someone who doesn't have a Cisco certification. Ito yung mga hindi masyadong ine-explain ng mga ibang trainers out there in terms of sa Cisco. Okay? Um, pero for me, eh, i-explain ko sa inyo kung bakit. Okay? Bakit nga ba mas hinahire, mas laging kinukuha ang resume ng mga may Cisco logo or Cisco certified professionals kaysa sa mga taong walang Cisco certification? Um, Unang-una, Bakit pinipili ng mga uh, companies yung may Cisco certification is that automatic kasi na pag nakita nilang, uy, Cisco certified yan, at least meron na siyang skills necessary for him to work in computer networking. Hindi na kailangan turuan ng kumpanya or hindi na kailangan mag-invest ng company to train him okay, from scratch kung paano mag-manipulate at uh, mag-manage ng isang computer network. Once na nakita nila na Cisco certified yan, at least alam nilang Uy, hindi ko na kailangan turuan yan. Okay? Kung paano mag-routing, uh, kung paano mag-switching, kung paano mag-VLAN uh, change, etc. Okay? etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay? Now, ito yung mostly na nakikita ng mga IT professionals at mga companies. Pero, meron pang isang reason eh, kung bakit nag-hire ang mga companies ng Cisco Certified Professionals. Okay? And I'm gonna share it to you. Okay? The reason bakit kumukuha ng Cisco certified ang mga companies is that si Cisco kasi nagbibigay yan ng incentives sa mga companies for hiring um, Cisco certified professionals. The more Cisco certified professionals a business hires and the higher yung certification levels nila, the more Cisco kasi gives discounts kapag bumibili yung kumpanya na yon ng Cisco equipment. Okay? Again, ulitin ko, the more Cisco certified professionals that companies hire and the higher their certification level, the more Cisco will give them discounts when they are buying Cisco equipment. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-primary reason. Kasi yung Cisco equipment na yan, hindi lang yan peanuts. Okay? Um, may mga Cisco equipments that uh, can range from um, half a million pesos to 10 million pesos. Okay? And kung makakuha ka ng discount when purchasing those uh, uh, types of equipment, malaking savings yun para sa kumpanya. Okay? That's why um, companies hire Cisco certified professionals kasi they can get discounts when they are buying Cisco equipment and networking equipment from Cisco. Okay, so, automatic meron ng return of investment kagad yung kumpanya when they are hiring certified professionals. Ito yung pinaka-primary reason bakit yung iba nagereklamong bakit yung, 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 yung Cisco certified ang laging na, na-hire. Kasi may incentive yung kumpanya. Eh. Okay, may nakukuha silang immediate return of investment. Okay. So, yan ang primary reason why you need to get a Cisco certification. Kasi yung kumpanyang papasukan mo will actually get a discount when buying Cisco equipment. Okay? And the higher yung certification, the higher yung discount ay bibigay ni Cisco for that specific company. So, yun nga. Immediate return of investment. So, let's go to the next part. Um, Cisco certification tracks naman. Um, over the years, nagbago ba, nag, nagbabago kasi yung certification tracks natin eh. Okay. And um, yung latest iteration or yung latest version ng Cisco certification is ito na. Okay. So, meron tayong CCNA which is the associate level. 
Then meron tayong specialists kung gusto niyo mag-specialize into a certain technology. Then from there, you can get your CCNP. And yung pinakamataas sa certification level natin is called the CCIE. Okay. Now, most companies, they only require a CCNA certification for you to get in as a network engineer. Pero some companies are also looking for CCNPs and CCIEs. Depende sa requirement nila for the skill set. Okay. Now, each of yung mga certifications sa Cisco has a validity of three years. So, kung nagpa-certify ka as, 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 Cisco, as a Cisco CCNA, okay, yung certification na yun is good only for three years. Good for three years. Now, bakit ang ekli? <laughs> yun siguro yung tinatanong ninyo. Bakit ang ekli, sir, ng uh, uh, time na certified ka as a Cisco CCNA? Kasi, the reason for this one, bakit kada tatlong taon ang pag mo ng exam or uh, kada tatlong taon ang pag-upgrade mo ng iyong certification exams or certification track is yung pace kasi ng technology natin ngayon ay napakabilis. Okay? Sa sobrang bilis ng pace is yung napag-aralan mo three years ago might not be necessarily uh, true in today's world. Kaya yung certification natin has a validity only of three years. Para um, three years from now, kailangan mo uling mag-aral and makuha mo yung, ano yung latest updates in terms of uh, computer networking or yung ibang technologies out there para ma-familiarize ka. Okay? Ma-force kang ma-familiarize at mapag-aralan yung mga yun. Okay? So, yan ang reason bakit kada tatlong taon ang validity lang ng Cisco certifications.